I'm Veronica, I'm a student of 10th grade, I'm from Russia. During all my school years, I have been doing school research connected with English linguistics and literature. I'm interested in studying English and would like to choose my future career in the sphere of foreign languages. I have friends in many schools around the world by collaboration in global projects. Uh, most of our friends are from different parts of America. Recent years, there is much information about Russia in foreign mass media, and it is very sad that most of it is negative. I began to feel a bit worried about our relationships with our friends, and so I decided to research the question if mass media influences public opinion. I have two tutors, an English teacher and social studies teacher who helped me in my project. First of all, I studied the theoretical material about public opinion, mass media and the influence of Google on public opinion. The first step was uh, collecting the material for my project. Uh, for this purpose, I have been looking through some British and American newspapers, uh, such as Daily Mail, The Sun, The Telegraph, The Times, The New York Times, and so on. I have chosen the articles about Russia from 2014 till 2017 January. There are about 300 articles in our collection and we divided them into groups according to the topics. So, uh, we have seven topics like Ukraine, Syria, Crimea, Olympic Games, economy, sanctions, and uh, the elections of the presidents of the USA. The next step was reading and analyzing the articles. While doing it, we noticed that the content of 90% uh, of articles have negative meaning and only 10% of articles are neutral. The biggest group about elections of the American president. All of them have negative content about our country. Russia is accused in hacking and cyber attack uh, during the elections. The journalists blame Donald Trump uh, for good relationships with Russian president. What is more, in most articles, the Russian president is the main figure. His image is also negative, aggressive, and uh, in, one, in one article he is called the enemy of the USA. We often come across uh, the name New Russian Tsar. The British newspaper The Sun calls Vladimir Putin Vlad and to present his personality to be a monarch, they say Vlad's army, Vlad's navy. After the article's analysis, we have interviewed our friends. Among the respondents, there are teachers, businessmen, students and artists. We asked them if they trusted the information about Russia in the national mass media, what other way of learning the news they preferred, and also we ask about their attitude to our country. What we found out makes me feel pleased and calm. We have learned that most of our respondents trust the information in mass media to some extent only. They choose the source of information very carefully. To learn about, about other countries, they prefer not only newspapers and TV, but also documentary films, traveling and communication with local people. We are pleased to know that all our respondents have a good attitude to our country and would like to visit it. Uh, some of them even read Russian writers like Dostoevsky and Tolstoy. Many of the respondents uh, mention that their attitude to Russian people doesn't depend on the political events, but on the things they could learn from each other. Mr. Terry Smith, a professor from Redfold University, tells, 
I have had so many good interactions with different teachers in Russia that I have grown to know the beautiful side of the people, the culture and the geography of the country. Our respondents pay great attention to the universal things that all people value. As a great example uh, for our survey, I'd like to read the words of the businessman from Connecticut, Glenn Hutchinson. We are concerned for the rights of all people and the safety of our planet. Everyone wants to feel loved, safe and secure. Uh, the more the people of this world respect one another, the safer our world will be. Uh, we, the people of this planet, need one another. We make each other better when all people work together and cooperate. One day that will happen. My hope is for that to happen. Some respondents claim that there is not enough cross-cultural collaboration and exchange among our countries. At this point my research is over, and, but I am going to continue it next year. I am going to study the second part of it, the images of other countries in Russian mass media, and also the influence on Russian people's opinion. Uh, then I'll have the material to compare with the results of this year research. Moreover, I'd like to tell you that I share the results of my research project with Russian people. I want them to know that whatever happened in the world, uh, we ordinary people should trust and care about each other. Thank you for watching. I'd like to know your opinion on my project.